Today, I'm going to be playing FTL. But it's not just any FTL, as you can tell. It is modded. Uh, oh god. Okay, so I had a mod that got rid of these, I thought. But turns out it didn't. The mod has these faces. I really don't like the way these look. I wish it was just the normal things. But what, 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 what can you do? I mean, it's just something I gotta deal with. Anyway, my, the, the point is... Uh... This is modded, it's got the Captain Edition mod, which is good in its own right, but it's also got the Random Items mod, which makes basically every weapon you get randomized, except for the ones you start with, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna pick a random ship, we're taking the Tech Tite, I'm not using the Tech Tite, I'm sorry. Uh, the Osprey, I'd uh, sure I'll use the Osprey, let's uh, let's give all these guys a name. Okay, I'm gonna have a Red Hair Boy. And his name is gonna be uh, Poop Nose. Okay, just Nose, I guess. Whatever. This is a Mantis, I think. We're gonna have a Red Mantis also. And we're gonna have him be named uh, uh, Infinite the Everlasting, like from Sonic. Okay, so it's gonna be named Infinite. It's like from Sonic. The whole point is it's red and it's edgy and stuff. Edgier than Shadow the Hedgehog. This one's gonna be purple and it's gonna be named uh, Rock Butt. And finally, we're gonna have this NG, and it, I, I like Vance. I like Vance. I'm just gonna tag Eli on the front. Eli, Eli Vance. And, uh, we're gonna have him be purple. Black and purple. Well, and actually, no, is he right there? You can know what, what does this look like? Oh, that looks pretty badass. That's better. We're playing on easy mode because I'm terrible at this game. Okay, well, yeah. Anyway, let's begin. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up and making sure they're offered. That's something you can do. Anyway, we can jump. We have a combat simulator. Let's simulate some combat. Let's shimmy, simulate, simulate aggressive hostile for navigation skills. Welcome to combat scenario number 54, escape from Skax. Brood pulls. Negotiations with the Mantis brood lords have failed, and the interstellar, in, interstellar, interstellar clone ban act has been rejected. An anti-Xeno faction, probably backed by the clans, is attacking your diplomatic craft as it ascends from the planet. You have to evade the enemy fire till you reach the jump beacon. A moment ago, there was just empty space. Now the screen shows a heavily armed gunboat as your opponent. The simulated ship will fire virtual projectiles at you until the training program ends. Ends. You remind your crew to take this seriously and order evasive maneuvers. They are making whatever. Yay, we did it. Your crew performed below average. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, let, let's get actually going. Poop nose, infinite rock butt, and Eli Vance. All right, we can, let's socialize with the humanoid. You should in, engage in trade more often. Okay, sure, sure. Let's, I'll, I'll engage in trade more often in a second. Let's see, debris from a forgotten battle still orbits the gas giant in this system. Some of it still might be usable. Debris from a battle orbiting a gas giant. That's kind of badass. Not badass in the sense that, like, oh, it's badass because it's orbiting a planet, but badass just because you come across a battle that's probably been long forgotten, and it's orbiting a planet now. Anyway, scans show a rebel, rebel, a rebel, a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hastily messages you, stay out of the street, you'll be next, concentrate fire on, attack the pirate, bitch. Okay, uh, up burst laser. I, I don't have any idea what any of these things do, so... Upburst laser. What does an upburst laser do? Uh, let's see. We'll figure it out. Oh, it does that. Piracy cannot be given attack. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm no forgiver. I don't forgive. I never forget. So, yeah, you're speaking to the wrong crowd, bud. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. That is, this is overpowered. When the pirates go on the signal station, we appear... When the pirates... When the pirates... Okay. When the pirates gone, you signal the station. We appreciate what you've done, but there will just be another ship looking to profit from our isolation soon enough. Sorry, we cannot give you more. Uh, under understandable. Oh, yeah. 
Outpost. Uh oh, outpost. Oh, it's gonna be dead within like the first. Within like the first thing. Uh oh, oh, Mr. Mr. Mantis, Mr. Mantis, get out of there. The outpost hails you. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed on stop by these scouts. Okay. No, you don't. You go back to your pilot station. Coward? Oh, wait, whoops. No, oh, maybe, maybe going to the... Did I say pirates station? I meant to say pilots. Alright, we got 120 scrap. Let's upgrade our shields and our engines. And we just got the shields up. Oh, well. Got two points to put on engines, though. Oh, it's a slaver. Whatever. Fuck you. Oh, he got our pilot. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna send an infinite the edgy to take out and poop nose because that'll just kill him. Instead, I'm gonna take out the uh, take out the mind control. Why'd you slap him? Why are you slapping him with your little bug ball? Not cool. Not cool at all. After arriving at the beacon, you detect a small one-man shuttlecraft that is headed straight for you. Repeated hails yield no response. You've got a strange feeling. Shoot it down. Wait for a moment. It gets close as you are, you are able to scan for life signs. It seems to be unmanned. Take what little fuel it has and continue onwards. Pretty epic, pretty epic. Oh, uh oh. We got. As you jump into Rebel Turret, satellite activates. The fight seems unavoidable. Oh, those look like some randomized weapons. Right, that right there? I. I that's random. That's gotta be random. Oh, God. It's one of those little laser. Things. Oh. These one shot laser bitches really piss me off. Oh no, my doors have been hacked. There I held you. I failed my masters and my programming tells me to kill myself now. Have a nice day. <laughs> Your ship detects an FDL charge pattern. Apparently, the AI will try and detonate its core. Oh fuck. Let's hope one of these two laser things will fucking kill it before it kills itself. I'm gonna, I gotta kill myself now. Have a nice day. Jesus. The as the defense satellite explodes, it broadcasts the message. Shouting down. Sweet. Uh, you and then you, and then we do that. Upgrade the engines. My, my core for the engines in a second. You find a rebel combat ship that has been reassigned as an emergency supply vessel. The local civilians, uh, civilians are apparently in need of help. The rebels are rising to the occasion. Well, I mean, clearly it's because they're all humans, and that's bad. Uh, being a human supre supremacist is apparently bad, despite the fact that I'm a human. So, oh well, we gotta get out of here. They're they're helping people, and apparently your crew can get mad at you for doing things that are mean. So, I'm not even gonna risk it. And I, I, I'm not saying human supremacist as like an allegory for racist. I'm, I'm, it's, a, it's really just a joke. But I just think it's kind of dumb. It's like it would make lots of sense for you to want to stay loyal to your species whenever it comes to intergalactic conflict, especially considering there are species that will drain oxygen out of an entire like room that you're in. Oh shit, that's a lot of fuel. You open the airlocks? Yeah, yeah, we're on. But yeah, I mean, there, there are crew that can suck oxygen out of a room with you. How are you supposed to, like, one depletes oxygen out of a room and one just uses it. There are robot people. How are robot people equal to human beings? One is living and one is a robot, and they both operate very differently. The Mantismen and Rockmen are clearly very different from each other. There's no way you can just say that they're equal. Uh, nope, we can't do that. So yeah, it just does not make much sense to me. You escape the rebel fleet via the long range relay. The ship is accelerated towards the next sector, but additional fuel will be needed to reach top speed. We're going to use two fuel. And we're going to uh, socialize with the Mantis. Hey, Captain, I have to explain something. This is the first time your Mantis approaches you with some kind of friendliness. Its news comes as a surprise. The Mantis has been secretly mating with one of its kind in the last sector. <laughs> it's a girl! I knew it was a girl! Infinite, infinite the edgy was female. You're pregnant? Well, congratulations. I knew you would understand. Actually, my son has already hatched. Your mantis is happy to not have to hide its offspring anymore and promises the newborn will be no burden and fight for you just as... <laughs> we got a son! <laughs> we got a son! 
Luckily, mantis are born in an almost mature state. I'll name him in the strange Federation language, Donor or Alliance. The young mantis greets you with a shy gesture. Ah, we got a we got a son. <laughs> what? That's pretty epic. Okay, I might be a bit of a mantis supremacist now. I don't know. I didn't realize they could just have sons. You, th these are the oxygen dudes I was talking about. You've picked up a Lanius vessel drifting in this sector. There is no damage to the hull and it appears to be powered down. Let's scan the ship for life forms. As you scan the vessel, the scan frequencies awaken the Lanius crew from hibernation and they're hungry for raw materials. Continue. Let's fucking go. Oh, are these random? That looks random. But I, I, I still can't tell. I can't tell what's random and what's uh, not random. I, I, I don't know what I'm. What's the difference? I, I, I just don't know. Oh, triple fuck! No, 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 no. That's a, that, that's a, that's a big bad unit over there. We are. There we go, there we go, that's a something, that's a, oh, that's a big fuck. Uh, the exchange of goods goes, oh, uh, what, 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 what? Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna honor the truce, because I'm a good human. But, Jesus, that's, that's kind of bullshit, I was trying to equip a weapon, and it really did me like that. Come on, bull, bullshit, complete bullshit. Does she have an oxygen bubble? Or is that a... I don't know, I, I'm just fixing the O2, because... You know, bad situation, no O2. Okay, my point is, uh, complete bullshit. I was equipping a weapon, I was in no way attempting to make peace, and yet... Peace was thrust upon me. So now, uh, Infinite the Everlasting... Sorry, Infinite the Ever Edgy's son, named Son, uh... I don't know why the ever so edgy... Infinite from Sonic the Hedgehog decided to name her son son, but nah. Oh well. Alright, this is taking care of everybody. Get in there. Sorry, Mr. NG, but you're slowpoke. Alright, uh, yeah, we're going to the exit. Sorry. As you were getting the, your bearings, another ship suddenly arrived at the beacon. It's the Lanius, and they've marked your ship for salvage. Nah, fuck that. Oh, God damn it again? Are you kidding me? This always happens. Go in there and fight him for a little. Ass and poop. And dick nuts. Okay, good, good enough for me. Oh, no! Oh, they're powering up their FTL drive. Stop. <laughs> you see a hail from the ship, followed by a crew translation device spurting. Stop. 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 I'll take it. No, one of my truths. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a big fuck. Jeez, uh, did not expect. I honestly, I thought the I thought Infinite the Ever Edgy died. Anyway, uh, a Federation science craft is docked with a few Lanius ships. You hail them, ask what's going on. Greetings. We have been attempting to understand our region's newest visitors, the Lanius, although we've been making little headway in deciphering their language. Ask if they have anything. We were doing research on some Lanius weaponry before. I hope you don't have to use it, but it will aid on your mission. I hope we will, or perhaps it will aid on your mission. You think you're the short anti-bio beam law is an anti-bio beam. God damn it. Yeah. Well, th this is a good time as any to sell this at a shop, right? Cargo. All right, we got Faye, Logan, Johnson, and Apollo. Selling that. Uh, cargo, teleport, combat team. No. Uh... I can't afford any of you, so uh, I'm just going to repair and get the fuck out of here. It's for you guys. I'm going to the exit. We're going to download. Oh, yes, we downloaded it. And we got the data stores. Now we know where everything is. I'm going to orbit around here for a second. A pirate ship emerges from hiding after you and another ship jump into the area. Sensors show the pirates are in a quick scan of you your ship's weapon system before flying off to pursue the unarmed civilian ship. Oh shit, attack him! Yeah, let's go, bitch. You're gonna get your ass fucked. Are the drones random too? I sure hope they are. That would be quite interesting. Oh, oh lord. Oh lord, they got a flak. They got a flak. Come on. How did that... Okay, well, I don't even... Pow, pow. It did nothing. You're gonna be dead. You're gonna be dead in like three seconds. Oh, uh, 
A few seconds, definitely, but... Mm. Man, that is just some carnage right there. Jesus! Fire ship breaks apart. We have in contact with the civilian. It seems the crew did not survive this. Bruh! We robbed them. We robbed them. They died and we robbed them. Oh my god. Engine, you're coming down for the leisure. Poor civilian dudes. They got raped by a pirate. Uh oh, big bad landing ship. A landing weapons platform is located at this beacon. Who knows from where the scavengers have towed up here? To have towed it here. Not towed up? What? They hail your ship, but the translator barely can cope with their language. Metallic opportunity. Acquisition by force. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, Mr. Metallic opportunity. Aw, oh, really? 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 Oh, okay, Mr. Dick Nuts. Jeez, you really gonna do that to me? There we go. All right, I'm uh, I'm banking on uh, getting that hacking down before the the hacking takes down our laser beam. There we go. There we go. Laser beam is laser beam is go. Oh frick! Actually, you know what? No, no, that's a waste of time. All right. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, that's what I wanted to see. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. Ah, oh, damn it! Let's get rid of these guys while we fix this fire problem we have. Oh, great, we don't even have to... Oh, wait, yes we do, yes we do. Oh, what, that, what have I done wrong? What have I done? What have I done? Mr. Rock, Mr. Rock, are you okay? Dwayne! Alright, we need to get the Rock Boy, the Mantis Mama, and Eli Vance all in here. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to the exit. Let's get out of here. And that's gonna mark the end of this episode. After this, of course. You know, let's attack these rebels. Rebel fuckheads. Oh, they got our engines. Ah, frick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, not cool. What's that? He can handle it. Oh, double not cool. Come on, laser beam. Do your thing. Is there a hotkey for making you do? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Laser beam, go! Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. One more rebel ship bites the dust from your efforts. You salvage what you can and prepare for the next battle. Let's get the frick out of here. We're going to the Mantis Sector. I'll see you all then. Goodbye.